Good morning, everyone. This morning I find myself thinking about a recent town hall where there were nearly a thousand people and the majority of them were seniors and they weren't very happy. In my district alone in eastern Washington, it's estimated there's 20,000 seniors that get their health insurance through Medicare Advantage. And yet that program right now is, is going to be cut dramatically, $162 billion in cuts. And what that means for seniors is that they're going to be losing their plans and they're going to be facing higher premiums. Um, and for many seniors, that means the difference between them being able to have health insurance um, at the expense of their, their, the cost of living, their, their home, their clothing, and their food. And as was mentioned, seniors are also facing a, a hit when it comes to prescription drug costs. In this bill, there's a 20% increase in prescription drug costs. House Republicans believe that when it comes to health care, we need to start taking steps to reduce the cost of health care. And that can be done through medical liability reform, by focusing on uh, health IT, electronic medical records. There's ways that we can control the cost of health care without it being financed on the backs of our seniors.